Faith without works is dead. Living life is not a theory. It must be experienced. Risks must be taken. Fears are dealt with now that we are becoming right-sized. Having found humility and enjoying taking direction from the power that knows. We trust the process and our shoulders drop. Smiles appear on our face more than frowns. We let go and let God show us the way. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Repairing the Damage August 14th, we attempt to sweep away the debris which has accumulated out of our effort to live life on self-will and run the show ourselves. If we haven't the will to do this, we ask until it comes. Remember, it was agreed at the beginning we would go to any lengths for victory over alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 76. Making a list of the people I had harmed was not a particularly difficult thing to do. They had showed up in my four-step inventory. People towards whom I had resentments, real or imagined, and whom I had hurt by acts of retaliation. For my recovery to be thorough, I believed it was not important for those who had legitimately harmed me to make amends to me. What is important in my relationship with God is that I stand before Him knowing I have done what I can do to repair the damage I have done. Faith without works is dead. We have faith. We turn our will and lives over to His care and we are willing to have Him remove our shortcomings so we continue to pray and improve our connection to feel His presence in our lives. There is more we can do. We can stop the behaviors that go along with our character defects while we let God do His thing over time while they are removed. We've made our list of people and are letting the willingness come to us through prayer, meditation, and righteous living. At the moment, we are trying to put our lives in order, but this is not an end in itself. Our real purpose is to fit ourselves to be of maximum service to God and the people about us. When we are ready, we will know we are spiritually fit to make our approach, and our sponsor will be guiding us in this crucial area. We do not go it alone. He has the experience and the perspective to help us not act selfishly. Our purpose is to make right what we have done wrong for the other person and also for our lives moving forward. The other person's reaction to our amends is not our concern, and we do not argue with them or point out their faults. This is our work, so we do not have to regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it. We acknowledge it all and vow not to repeat it to the best of our ability. We look ourselves and others in the eye today. We don't have to cross the street to avoid people now we are sober and are living on spiritual principles. Life is worth living, and we are happy in the sunlight of the Spirit. Repairing the Damage August 14th We attempt to sweep away the debris which has accumulated out of our effort to live life on self-will and run the show ourselves. If we haven't the will to do this, we ask until it comes. Remember, it was agreed at the beginning we would go to any lengths for victory over alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 76. Making a list of the people I had harmed was not a particularly difficult thing to do. They had showed up in my four-step inventory. People towards whom I had resentments, real or imagined, and whom I had hurt by acts of retaliation. For my recovery to be thorough, I believed it was not important for those who had legitimately harmed me to make amends to me. What is important in my relationship with God is that I stand before Him knowing I have done what I can do to repair the damage I have done. 
Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.